Hi, in this video we're talking about the derivative of ln x. So I can just write that here. We have y is equal to ln x, or the natural log of x. Okay, so again, similar to the exponential uh, derivatives, we have, or all of our derivatives actually, we have a point that's on the curve. And you can see here that I have the slope at that point. It's rise over run, so 0.58 divide 1, which is just 0.58. So here is the slope. And now I'm graphing the slope as the y value, keeping the same x, same x value. See the x value is the same, 1.18. And the slope is 0.58. Now you should try and predict what this slope looks or what this derivative looks like. If I drag this point to the right and up to the right here, what's this graph going to look like? what's the slope going to do as I drag this point up here? Well, naturally you should think that the, that the line is going to get less and less steep. So this red point will start to come down. That y value will decrease. Now let's watch it happen. So if I bring it up a little bit, you can see now the slope is 6, 0.68. So the y value is 0.68. Keep going. We have 0.4 now. The slope is 0.4, so the y value is 0.4. Same x value. And keep going and going and going. Is this ever going to reach 0? Well, you know that this is the natural log, which means no, it never reaches 0, which means that red point is never going to touch the x-axis. Okay, so that's what's happening on this side. You see now 0 0.08, y value is 0.08. That's how you graph derivatives. Let's go to the other side. Just a little bit here. Okay, at 1, we have the slope is 1. Okay, so that goes to the point 1, 1. What graphs do we know that look like this that go through the value of 1, 1? I don't know. We'll think about that in a second. Okay, so ln x is always, the x value is always x is greater than 0 which means that this is never going to touch the y-axis. What other function do you know that never touches the y-axis has these two asymptotes? Think about that in a second. If I drag this down, the slope gets steeper and steeper and steeper. Okay, it's already at 2.76 and goes bigger and bigger and bigger and obviously just goes to infinity as this slope gets goes to infinity. I don't need to graph it any more than that. So that's the curve. Okay, so we have a couple of conditions here. The equation for y prime, well, we know it goes through 1, 1. We know it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. And we know it has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Now, what function can I plug in 1 and get 1 with these two different uh, asymptotes? Hopefully you're thinking exactly what I'm about to say or write. It's 1 over x. 1 over x. And actually if I um, graph 1 over x down here, y equals 1 divide x. You can see there it fills it in nicely. If I double click on it, just make it really thick. Yes, there it is in green same exact function. But wait a minute, we've got an issue. What's going on over here? 1 over x is all the way over here as well. And which means we need to restrict, since the function was restricted to greater than 0, the derivative also has to be restricted to greater than 0. So that's our derivative of ln x is 1 over x.